Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back. Thank you as always for clicking play. Today, it's a big one. We are, as you can see at the top, we are in the semi-final of the Copa de la Superliga. We're taking on Rafin Club. We're gonna have both legs in this video. Um, gonna be no preamble. All we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the results since the last video and then we're gonna get straight into it because we've got two games to get through in this one. Um, so let's get straight into the results from um, recent matches. And as you can see, the form just continues. This tactic is ridiculous. Um, so we had a disappointing draw at home to Argentinos Juniors, 2-2 in the first leg of the um, second round of the Copa Superliga. Um, but we went away from home and absolutely destroyed them, winning 4-0. Batista Cascini coming off the bench to get a brace. I'm really trying to patch things up with him. I really want to um, to make it work with him. Um, whether it will or not remains to be seen. We then went away to Brazil to take on Corinthians in the Copa Libertadores. And we won 2-0. Uh, Gaston Campi now a Leicester Vez with the goals. A brilliant away performance, soaked up a lot of pressure and just caught them napping a couple of times, uh, which means that we're now five from five in the Libertadores. We've won all five games by a two goal margin. It's just been unbelievable. I just didn't dream that the group stage could have gone so well for us. And then came a very, very comfortable uh, quarter, uh, quarter final against San Lorenzo in the Superliga Cup. A 3-0 win away from home, pretty much had it done and dusted before the second leg, and we won that second leg 3-1. So, today is the semi-final of the Copa de la Superliga. Let's just show you as well what is happening elsewhere. We've got Boca Juniors against Belgrano in the other semi, so that is um, the lineup. I assume that Boca are going to be in the final, especially with it being over two legs. Uh, we have got a game in between as well, and it's our final uh, Libertadores group game against uh, Alianza at the Unico de la Plata. Um, obviously that one won't be on camera so we're going to do the first leg now and then we'll play that one off camera, come back, I'll tell you what happened, straight into the second leg. So let's get to it. Um, here's the preview screen. We're away from home first which I'm quite happy with, quite happy with that as well. Um, Pablo Jimenez is our referee, three red cards and 46 yellows in 17 matches. Um, we're going to, I think I've got it all picked already, uh, Fabio Nogueira is struggling a little bit, uh, but he's got to play to build up a little bit of fitness, uh, we really we really are struggling, um, we, we're down, you know, as, as Ari would say, we're down to the bare bones, um, apologies as well, I feel like absolute rubbish, got a really bad cough, so if I do start choking at some point, apologies for that, um, maybe one or two changes need to be made on the bench, I'll have a look through this and I'll see you at the stadium. It's a 4-4-2 from our hosts today, and this is the team that we're going with. We we are really, really struggling. The games are coming thick and fast. Um, I played a strong team in the last in the last round against uh, San Lorenzo. Didn't realise that the semi-final was going to come up straight away. I thought I had a week off till that Alianza game. I never thought that this game was going to come up in the midweek after the next after the last round. So. Unfortunately, this is what we're left with. A uh, few players not fit. We've got on the bench, we've got a couple of youngsters in Nazarino Colombo, a centre-back, and Angel Acosta, a very promising-looking winger. So, yeah, we, we, we're we struggling a little bit. I'm hoping it's not going to cost us today. The form is spectacular right now, um, and I'm hoping that we can that we can deliver another positive result. I'd take a score draw, Um Anything but a defeat really would be good. So we, we, we're set to go. We've got a little tunnel interview and then it's straight to kick off. Here we go then. The camera zooming in on the teams. Um, a lovely looking at stadium at Rathing Club. Um, I did look at the past meetings before the match and I can't remember what it was now. I think I think we've like won one and drawn one or lost one and drawn one, something like that. It's not brilliant form. Um, but hopefully we could put it right today. Early corner to Rathing Club though. Quadra is going to turn. It's a good save and a bit of a scramble. And we get it out for the corner. Brilliant strong palm save from Daniel Sapper. Um, I was going to put Francesconi in goal. But I think he's just played for one of the uh, one of the other teams. So he wasn't able to. And Zucchi now coming away. Plays it forward for Castro. And there is a foul by Soto. Which is going to be a yellow card for Alexis Soto. And are we going to see the free kick? We are. Who's taking it? The number seven. That's Zukwi. 
Go on. Perfect start. In it goes. Just wide. Gomez takes the goal kick long. It's not been a very good game. Um, it's made it very, very easy to edit because um, nothing's happened. Here's Nogueira. Uh, their right back has been booked and he means he's suspended for the second leg. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um, but yeah, he won't be playing. Uh, here's Chico in midfield. Oh, what was that? That was an awful pass. Giving it straight to Centurion who drives forward. It looks to put Quadra in and our sweeper keeper Daniel Sapa stays on his line but ends up being the right decision. Sigali, that's the bloke that's been booked and will miss the second leg. Here's Quadra. What happened there? What happened there? That just glitched. I've, that's, I've, I've noticed that happen a few times. We're a goal down. Lissandro Lopez has scored it. He has, in the past, haunted us as well. You see here the shot from Quadra. I've, it seemed to hit someone, come back, and I don't know what happened there, but we're 1-0 down. Lacunza with the throw. Chico gives it him back. Come on. Come on, boys. Get it up the field. Cashini to Chico. Definitely, definitely struggling with players at the minute. Oh, that's a lovely ball out, though, to Pellegrini. What can you do? Plays it in. He's going to come back for Castro. The shot is blocked. Arteaga to Chico. Takes his time, and it's a brilliant save from Gomez. Lacunza with the throw. Can we get a last chance before half time? Arteaga bringing it forward. Oh, lovely ball to Pellegrini. Whips it across, and it's in from Leonardo Castro. He is banging form at the minute, the striker. And it's his seventh goal since joining the club. And the youngster Pellegrini, who has asked for more first-team football, is the man who sets it up. But it's that pass from Arteaga, which opened them up. Lovely near post cross. And up, he soared like a salmon. Castro makes it 1-1. And that's how it stays at half-time. 1-1 I will take that. It's it's a fair scoreline at the minute. There's been plenty of shots. We haven't seen most of them. Um, I've got it set to extended, and there hasn't been an awful lot of highlights. Nil nil in the Bombonera Boca against Belgrano, which I'm quite happy with as well at the minute. So let's get into the boys. Um, I think we're going to say we're not doing badly at all. If everyone that plays like they are, we'll we will win. Um, and we're going to say there's a lot more to come from you. Um, we're looking a lot fitter than they are, uh, that is for sure. So hopefully we can make that count in this second half. Throw in which Sigali takes. Oh, missed his header there, didn't he? And they're in. Lissandro Lopez, Daniel Sapper beats it away. Cross it comes and cleared away. Brilliant save from Daniel Sapper. Throw in then. Soto will take it. Gives it to Lissandro Lopez. Oh, space there. And the shot comes in. I think it took a deflection. Sapper holds on now. We're doing okay. But we're going to have to start making some changes um, because the players are getting very, very tired. Here's Zaracho forward for Quadra. And that shot flashes wide. Big moment for two youngsters then. Debuts for Nazarino Colombo, who comes on for Nogueira. And Angel Acosta, who comes on for Zucchi. Let's see if that can do anything. It's, it's a big call with half an hour to go. But it's something that... I wanted to do anyway in this game. Why not? It's perfectly poised for them to come on and make the difference. And here's a corner. Pellegrini takes. And Leonardo Castro has headed in. And we are in front. We've turned the game on its head. It's another brilliant header from the striker. I am really, really starting to like this guy. Another assist from Pellegrini as well. In fact, no, it wasn't. It was Chico headed it back across. Castro puts it in. And it's 2-1. Oh, we're going to get the little... Um, he can't be offside. It was a corner. And it was headed back across. And he is onside. Come on. It's Dosuno. Centurion. Got a lot of space there, hasn't he? Out to Sigali. Close him down. They don't. It's cleared away. Drops to Diaz. Oh, that is a stunning challenge on the edge of the box. Chico now brings it away. Come on. Oh, overran it there. You should have looked for the pass. And we're, we are outnumbered here. They're on the overload. And Centurion has equalised... That's his first goal of the season. That does surprise me. I wonder if he's been out of the team for some reason. Well, that really does surprise me because he's a really, really good player. It's a good goal. I mean, look at that. They were just streaming forward. We were always in trouble after Chico overran that and gave it away. But Daniel Sapper, what was that? Here we are in the last minute of normal time. We have four minutes of stoppage time as well. The game has just flown through to this point. 
Um, but we're on the attack, which is good to see. Chico to Acosta. Oh, that was a brilliant whip ball in. And Pellegrini heads it on. That was a great whip ball. Where was Castro there? Hattrick was begging there, wasn't it? But we could be in trouble at the other end. Centurion pulls it across. And what a save from Daniel Sapper to deny Lissandro Lopez. That really should have been 3-2 to Rathing. And it isn't. And a big header away from Colombo there from the corner. And we are clinging on a little bit now. Can we do it? We've got three minutes of stoppage time to go. Come on, boys. Hold on. Hold on. I'm quite up for the clock just to tick all the way down like it is doing. 30 seconds to go. I will take a 2-2 draw. I'm not actually sure if away goals is a thing in this, but we'll see. That's a great ball, though, from Castro to Acosta. Maybe we're going to win it. It's a lovely ball across, and it is. And it's a hat-trick for Leonardo Castro. What a ball in, though, that was um, from... It was a, oh, I, bleh, I can't get the words out. It's a brilliant ball in from Acosta. Look at this. What a ball in. It's Paiva with the shot. And then Castro on the rebound. Fair play to Gomez. It was a brilliant save. But what a way to finish the match. Completing your hat-trick and winning the game. That is absolutely brilliant. And you can see why I am really starting to fall in love with Leon, Leon, Leonardo Castro. I cannot speak. It's because every... Second that goes by, I think I'm going to start choking, which is not a good look on camera. Um, but we've won this game. Leonardo Castro's hat-trick is decisive. Brilliant cameo from Angela Costa as well. If only Paiva had scored in, and given uh, Acosta the assist. But no matter. It's the team that's more important, of course. And what a result that is. And this tactic... I swear I have broken FM19 with this tactic. I hope SI don't get a hold of it. <laughs> um, I'm going to say a good win, boys. Well done. That's all that needed to be said. That's it then. First legs are out of the way. Boca did win 1-0 against Belgrano. Gonzalo Maroni, the former loanee uh, with us, got the goal. Um, one thing I'm going to do then is let's just see. No. Away goals isn't a thing, so that's not bad. Right, time for the second leg. Okay, just before the second legs, a little bit to catch up on. Um, we lost 1-0 at home to Alianza. A very, very poor performance, but I think I've made 11 changes. Uh, it was a very poor performance, and it's a very disappointing uh, re uh, result as well, because it's, it's ended that lovely unbeaten run that we had going um, and also we've had the draw for the Comibol Libertadores um, and we are taking on Ecuadorian team Liga de Quito uh, you can see the other Argentinian clubs there River taking on Peñarol Racing Club today's opponents of course playing Flamengo Boc Juniors against Crucero Tires against Santos and we've got Godoy Cruz against Palmeiras very very strong Argentinian and Brazilian presence as you would expect uh, Peruvian team, Chilean team, uh, Uruguayan team, and of course our opponents from Ecuador. Um, the bizarre thing about that is that the first leg is in July, um, which is this season for us. The second leg is in August, which is next season for us. So that's rather interesting. Um, so yeah, let's get to this game then. It is the second leg. Um, wow. We should be seeing this through. Uh, Herman Delfino is the referee. Seven red cards and 71 yellows in 24 games. He knows where he keeps his cards, that is for sure. And when we brings it up, here we go. This is the team that we're going for. It's, uh, it's, it's as strong as it gets, pretty much. Uh, there's a couple of players that could come in and play if I needed them to. Um, but this is what we're going with. Um, and let's get out there, let's get the job done, let's get to the final, hopefully against Belgrano, but more than likely against Boca. 4-4-2 again from Rathing Club. Um, it's a decent lineup. It's it's going to be tough to keep a clean sheet again today, I think. Um, we're going to get into the boys. Any 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 draw, any win, anything that gets us through is, is all that I'm bothered about now. Um, deserve to be in the final, expect to make that happen. And let's just get in there as normal. And we've got faith. Uh, so we have got a little tunnel interview. You're going to watch it today. Uh, Gaston Gil Romero doesn't play. He's just been rested. Not a problem. There we go. One question, short and sweet. <coughs> um, so I am still coughing. Um, 
in between the first like and this one, uh, there's been over a week in my life. Um, I've been laid low with the flu. I've been really, really poorly. Um, so yeah, it's been, I've been desperate to get and play it, but you know you're ill. Oh, what a start. Lucas Rodriguez, minute and 40 seconds in, and it's 1-0, 4-2 on aggregate, and it's a brilliant finish. The free kick into the wall from Sanchez, but he gives it to Lucas Rodriguez, and that is an absolute stunner. What a dream start. So, yes, anyway... As I was saying, um, yeah, I've had flu. I've been so ill, and I'm I'm not fully recovered now. Um, I mean, you, you you have it for about a week, and then it takes about a week to get fully back up to strength. Uh, I am back at work, but yeah, it is evil. I've never had it before. Um, get the jab <laughs> if you if you can get it, because uh, I've never taken the jab because I've never had the uh, the illness. I think I'll start getting it in future. Um, right, back to the business in hand. What a perfect start. I mean, we. Rathing Club are going to have to come out and score three now. Um, it couldn't have asked for... If I could have written the script for the match, it would have included a goal in the first minute or two. So, absolutely sensational. And we could get better here. Here's Paiva and Leonardo Castro. And that is a big, big say. Oh, he was offside anyway, I think. But what a start. Come on, boys. Here's Urquiaga. Infield for Paiva. Good ball in for Castro. And a big save from Gomez. Good save. Stayed big. Didn't give the keep. Didn't give the striker a chance to lift it over him. He stayed big. And the corner comes in, and Estevez is charging in. It's going to drop for Zukwe. Oh, and f brilliantly turned away by Gomez. And we are piling on the pressure. We are piling on the shots as that corner comes in. It's headed away. Paiva picks it up, gives it to Nagera. Back to Paiva. Come on, come on, come on. It's obviously, isn't the end of the highlight. Something else is going to happen. Nagera, centre back. You are not very good at crossing. Urquiaga with the throw to Cascini, sprays it out to Fabian Nagera, who goes out wide the other way now to Sanchez. In the ball goes, it's headed away, Zaracho to Donati, but we just keep winning it back at the minute. But they do have it now in midfield with a chance to counter. Fernandez going unchallenged, gives it to Quadra. Oh, there's some space in the middle for Lissandro Lopez and an expert finish from Lissandro Lopez. And this tie is Far from done, that is for sure. 23 goals for the season for the veteran striker. And Quadra here, he, they just got drawn out to him, didn't they? Lissandro Lopez, that is as postage stamp as they come. Silva with the throw to Diaz, gives it him back. Played forward now for Centurion and Zoracho cuts inside. Oh, and two shots at it. First one blocked. Sapa saves the second one. And all of a sudden, we are under the cosh a little bit. And Rathing Club, they were never going to be a pushover. That's the thing. And they are proving as, as much at the minute. But you can see their players are extremely tired. They've just picked up their second booking of the game. And in goes the header from Nagera. And it's just looped over the bar. But it's a very, very entertaining match so far. And there's another highlight for Rathing Club. It's headed away by Nagera, though. And here's Paiva. Played forward for Castro. Leonardo Castro goes out to the right. Got runners with him. Oh, and he's giving it away. It's a loose ball. It's not good. Come on. Put the pressure on. Come on, come on, come on. Headed down. Here's Lopez. Fernandez. No, no. Lissandro Lopez again. He's going to hit one. It's a good save by Sapa this time. Cascini. And he's gone down. And Zaracho is off. Matis Soracho sent off for a second yellow card. It seemed a bit soft. He came through the back and he is off. And with that, is that Rathing Club's chances gone as well? Let's see. They're playing now a 4-3-2 formation. We should dominate this game from here on in. Here's Paiva and he's gone down, but play continues. Come on now. I hate playing against 10 men. I really do. I always seem to struggle. Here's Estevez. Paiva spreads it out lovely to Urquiago. All we need to do is keep switching the play, keep stretching the pitch as Estevez fires it in. 2 1, 5 3 on aggregate. That should give us the daylight we need now. That should be progression to the final, assured, and it will be our first final as well. Urquiago played a decent ball in. It was headed away by Donati, but on the half volley from the edge of the box. Now Estevez is an expert at those. Here's Centurion, crossing the halfway line, driving forward, but it's two on about six here. But that was an ambitious effort, and a beaten away by Sapo. That was a great hit, really. And you can see at the bottom, everything in the, 
it's happening in our game it is still obviously goalless in the Boca Belgrano game which does mean of course that Boca are in front and aggregate as Facundo Sanchez with that corner his corners cause havoc they really do and Cascini drags his shot wide Gomez hits the ball long Nogueira with a good towering header Estevez down the line to Zucchi. Oh, what a ball in. And Castro scores. It's 3-1. It's job done before half time. And we are making that man advantage count. And it's a brilliant ball in from Zucchi. The shape on that cross was absolutely exquisite. Estevez just played it to him here. What a ball that is. Look at that. Into that beautiful area where keeper can't come. Defender will score an own goal if he touches it. Striker can't miss. 3-1 on the night, 6-3 on aggregate. This is going to be the first final of the series. Um, and it is 0-0 still, Belgrano, Boca. So at the moment, we're going up against the old enemy in the final. We're going to say, I'm very pleased with your performance. Keep it going. I'm actually going to say that one for this one because surely nothing can go wrong now. Um... Kicked off the second half by Rathing Club. This will be just a fantastic double header to beat them um, because they are a decent team, Rathing Club. I think they finished above us in the league um, and they are a very, very good team with some very good players. So if we can beat them home and away, that would be absolutely fabulous. Estevez to Paiva now. Go on, hit one, hit one. He does and it's hit the bar. Estevez to Nogueira. Cross to his central defensive partner. Campy now out to Urquiaga. Lovely clip ball in. And Leonardo Castro has another goal. It's his fifth goal of the tie. His second of the game. And we are absolutely destroying 10-man Rathing Club. We are really making them pay. And it's Urquiaga with a beautiful clip ball in. And he's just guided it in. The pace was on the cross. And it is 4-1. Quadra to Centurion. Cuts inside well. Oh, and absolutely leathers in a goal for Rathing Club. Brilliant goal. What a tie. What a semi-final. 11 goals and counting. We've still got, well, including, including stoppage time, probably nearly 40 minutes of this match left. And some of the goals have been absolutely spectacular. Vitor with a free kick. Oh, and it's hit the bar and gone over. And you can see at the bottom, Belgrano have scored against Boca. It's 1-1 on aggregate in that match now. We've made all our changes, as you can see, as well. So Christian Lemmer, Gaston Gil Romero and Thomas Ozez are on for Campi, Cascini and Zucchi. Uh, we've got 15 minutes to go here. It's been a very, very entertaining uh, video, I hope, because there's been plenty of goals. Uh, here's Urquiaga to Estevez. Are we going to see another one here? Fernandez has got it. It's a counter-attack. They're not committing too many forward to it. He's done well, though, there, Fernandez. Held it up, waited for support. They're still coming. Fernandez again to Nunez. They're keeping the ball really well. And Centurion, oh, and he's driven all the way through. And he scored an absolutely brilliant goal. And it is 7-5 on aggregate. Surely, surely not. This cannot be happening. What a driving run. Just caught everyone out. And a brilliant finish past the hapless Daniel Sapa. And the goals keep coming. Thomas Ozez, tackled by Jonathan Silva. So we've got... Three and a bit minutes to go of five minutes stoppage time as Centurion hits another shot and Sapa with the save for the cameras there. And look at that at the bottom. Belgrano, 2-0 up on the night against Boca Juniors and it's 2-1 on aggregate. So it looks as though we could be playing Belgrano now in the final. Here's Gil Romero out to Urquiaga. In it goes, cleared away, comes to Estevez. Back out to Urquiaga. Lovely ball in again, cleared away. Gil Romero will pick it up. 30 seconds to go. So we're definitely through. We're definitely into the first final of the series. Would be brilliant to win only the second ever Copa Superliga as that is a wild cross. Lucas Rodriguez is going to chase it and keep it in. Soto, though, will launch Rathing Club on what could be another counter-attack. But there it is. The final whistle's gone. We're through. I believe it's finished 2-0 at Belgrano as well. But what a tie. 
in the end, 7-5, we win it. 12 goals in total. Um, I'm absolutely brilliant. Uh, you've done it. You're in the final. Congratulations. That is all we need to say because the performance was a little bit suspect. But it's another win for this fabulous, fabulous formation. And there it is, confirmation. Belgrano did win 2-0 and have knocked Boca out. We will take on Belgrano. Um, they scored in the second half two goals. So let's see when the final is. When is it? The 10th of June. Oh, so we have a week and a half to go until the final, which obviously is going to be the next video. Um, our next game is coming up very soon. We've got Boca Unidos in the fifth round of the Copa Argentina. I am expecting no problems in that. That one is going to be off camera. We're then going to be back for this Copa de la Superliga final. We're in the first final of the series. I am so, so happy with that. That has suddenly made me feel a lot better. What flew? Um, guys, if you enjoyed that, I mean, there's 12 goals. I mean, what a video. Uh, smash that like button, hit subscribe, turn on those notifications, jump in the description for all the links you need for everything as well. And I will see you very, very soon for that final. Can we lift the first piece of silverware? The first of hopefully many. I hope you'll join me for it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Adios, amigos.